Hi everyone, welcome to this new tutorial series on using the Y Finance package in Google Colab to analyze stock market data. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced trader, this series will help you harness the power of Python to fetch, analyze, and visualize financial data all in a free cloud-based environment. In this first video, I'll introduce you to Google Colab, show you how to set it up, and how to get started with Y Finance by fetching your very first Nifty 50 data. So. Let's start. What's Google Colab? Google Colab is a free online platform that lets you write and run Python code right in your browser. It's perfect for data analysis and machine learning projects because it provides free access to GPUs and CPUs. And I would like to stress on that free word, right? It's free. You just need to have a Google account and you are good to go. So let's start how to access Colab in Google. You go and you type colab research.google.com in your browser window. A new window will open up. You will see something like this. Welcome to Colab. You can read the documentation. You can understand what Colab is, how to get started. And once you are comfortable with that, you go to file and you open a new notebook in your very own Google Drive, right? This will be an untitled notebook and you can rename it to show what you want to do. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll focus on Y finance package. So this is an untitled zero notebook. I'll change this to as per the date 06.20. This will be Y finance introduction for YouTube. Okay. So now we have to install Y finance package. How will we use it if that's not installed, right? Before installing it, let's see all the versions that are available within the Google Colab. So pip index versions Y finance. So this will show me all versions of Y finance that are available and I can choose which one to install. Now for the purpose of this video, I've already installed the latest package and I'll show you which command you can run to install the latest package as well. So you can see that the latest package is 0.2.63 available versions are these many and I already have 0.2.63 installed. So before installing it, I'll, un I'll uninstall it so that, you know, I can show you how you can install it on your end. So I'll do a pip uninstall by finance. This will uninstall by finance. I would like to proceed. Yes. And successfully uninstalled. Now when I run the same command again, where I check all the index versions, it will show me Y finance of 0.2.63, but it will not show me the installed and latest versions available because I haven't installed it yet. So let's install it. So I want to do pip install, install Y finance. Now, if you do this, you'll get the latest version automatically. But in case, let's say a newer version has been released and you still want to practice this as per this tutorial, what you can do is you can do an is equal to is equal to 0.2.63. This will ensure that you install a particular number which is as per your liking. I'll do a shift plus enter to, I mean, that's a shortcut for downloading it. So you can see it's downloading the package and I have successfully downloaded the package. If you don't like this much output on an installation command, you can just type a quiet with two dashes here and you won't get any output on the installation part. Cool. So now that we've covered installation, now you have Y finance available. We'll do an import Y finance as YF. Now, what have I done here? I've imported the Y finance package and all its functions with it. But whenever I have to call those functions, they will start with a YF dot. And I'll quickly show you how to do that. So it will be a nifty 50 is equal to YF dot ticker. And my code would be NSEI for nifty 50. How do I know it's an NSEI? I'll go to Google finance. I'll type nifty I automatically get nifty 50 is an index with NSI and its symbol is apostrophe NSEI. If you want to look the symbol for ITC, it's ITC.NS. If you want to look for SBIN, it's SBIN.NS. 
cool so we'll go back we'll run this nifty 50 cell okay this has been run and now i'll add a new code now what do we have to do i'll takes i'll get some data out of it i'll take nifty 50 this this is my ticker object by the way because i have assigned it a particular ticker so nifty 50 dot history in which period will be one month and the data will be made and then we just call data in a next cell and we get to see the data for the last one month indexes opening price highest priced in that particular date lowest price and the close price and the volume traded that particular day as well so it's really simple i just followed five things i installed the package i imported it created a ticker object got its historical data and then called the data object to get the data out to see for myself what data is available for us and it's completely free and i think it's quite usable i mean if you can get this much of data with these small scripts just think about the applications you can do once you get used to this particular platform and python with y finance package so what's next there are many many applications that i'll cover in the upcoming videos so if you found this helpful and you would like to see the upcoming content please like and subscribe so that you don't miss the upcoming videos thanks for watching feel free to ask any questions in the comments below I'll try my best to answer them in one to two working days. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Disclaimer, this content is for educational purposes only. None of the brands, products, tools or stocks mentioned are recommendations or endorsements. The creator is not a licensed financial advisor. Viewers should conduct their own research and consult with a qualified professional before making any financial decisions.